Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. We are on Holy Carp's account, a Patreon. I've been saying to say this for multiple of my account reviews, but all of these people, most of them are Patreon. So I have to say thank you in advance before we even start this. Thank you for supporting me up to this point when I was doing this review. And if you're still supporting me when this video is out, thank you again. Now, Holy Carp wanted a specific review on RTA and Siege defense. First of all, for RTA, because he doesn't want to be in a position where he's really frustrated. He's like in a state where I enjoy RTA, like I hate it, but sometimes I want to play it. And you're really stuck at that position until you have a core team that you find success in. I'm going to try and pick out a box that he could play with because you'll see why he's not really succeeding or at least something a part of why it's hindering his process and also he wanted siege defense advice because his siege defenses aren't doing too well so let's go check that out together i'll pinpoint out what's wrong with him <laughs> what's wrong with the account what i think he should be doing to improve it and the thought process of it holy carp currently is in c2 arena c1 rta he did say that he wants to reach c1 and it looks like he he did and i'm very surprised and you guys will also see why part of me says that he's really good at pick and ban or he knows what he's doing he's probably not using much of the box that he picked out but that means that his box needs to be reduced and then he's in a g1 guild let's go check out his box because the box will determine his rta box and also his siege defenses right because siege defense actually gets impacted by what you currently have first thing is first is that you want to comply with the guild so um it's 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 hard to find it in g1 guilds because everybody's not on the same page a lot of people in g1 guilds are more of a chillish gamer they are not happy when the guild leaders ask for a certain defense if they can make a certain defense in a certain way because that really dictates how they play the game but at least try your best and I hope your guild strives for that as well because you will see more success with it. You will see more defense wins. So it will only benefit the guild. He has Cassandra. He has Nora. Okay, he's missing a lot of Nat 5s though. Yeah, he's missing a whole lot of Nat 5s. Okay. Missing a lot from the fire stuff. Some stuff that he could use for siege defense, probably Tessarion. Maybe even the Nora, Ophelia could also be part of a defense. Perna, Rakan, okay. So at least those could be in a defense. Even Bernadette, although it's very old. The Savannah comps still work with it. For water, you have more. Okay, more could be a good addition. Nana could still work. So Nana, Nora plus one is still a pretty decent G1 defense. Abelio. Some math, okay, Praha. I don't see too much in the water department. Maybe Nana and more for defense. Even Molong is arguable in G1. For wind, you have Sonia, you have Sagar. All of these aren't really a siege defense material unit. You're missing a whole lot of units for Nat 5 defenses. Um, let's take a look at some of these Nat 4s. Okay, you do have Mihang. Uh, did you have Cichlid? I hope you do. Cichlid is built. So Miang Cichlid plus one is definitely a defense that you want to build. You definitely have Clara, right? Clara, oh, you didn't have Savannah. Oh, you don't have Clara. Wow, you should build a Clara. Maybe Harmonia, Vigor, Skogo will be another one they could go with. Harmonia, Vigor, and then you should have Skogo. Very easy to skill up. There you go, Skogo. So Harmonia, Vigor, Skogo is something that I would recommend. And... Um, seeing your box itself, I don't recommend too many defenses. It's better to focus your runes on a few defenses to see success rather than trying to make defenses that don't really synergize, don't really work, and spread out your runes because that will only give you defeats. Okay, let's now check the light. This will really give you some, you know, OP defenses if you have any. Mihang Cichlid Driller could be good. Mihang Cichlid Escher could be also an option. Okay, you have a Chroma, which isn't the greatest LD5 in Siege Defense or even RTA. I don't see many people using it. Dark, do you have anything notable here? Dark Robo, you have Monte. So, Miang Cichlid Monte is pretty outdated, not as strong anymore, but can work. Miang Cichlid Isabel could also work. A lot of these Miang Cichlid stuff, right? You want to have some kind of one-shot potential could work as well. If you want to make multiple defenses, rather than going with 
on one of each, you could make dupes. You can make another Meeting Cichlid because they are net four. So if you could pull them, I think they'll be more effective defenses rather than putting some random, some random crap. And if you look at these runes, they're actually, they, he has some decent runes. It's just not perfected. Even looking at this, right? This is obviously a legend worthy rune. So you get plus five there, you get maybe nine or 10 there, nine or 10 there. So it could be an additional two, 3% more on each of these stats, plus two more speed, which looking at the rune by itself doesn't seem much, but if six runes come all together, getting all those legend grinds and gems. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to count, I don't want to say, keep saying like a certain speed, but you could see here, right? Some of these runes are decent, they're good. It's just lacking grinds and gems, so work on R5. There are certain lacking slots, but you could always come back to it because what I like to tell people is work with what you have, perfect what you have, and then go to the highest of your point with that rune quality. And once you hit a wall, you'll just feel the difference. You'll hit a wall. That's when you start farming for a certain rune again. At least that's how I like to play it. Again, the way I play it isn't the answer. People play it differently, but I have seen success playing it that way. Uh, we saw Swift, we saw Violence. We could look at in Despair, probably seeing a same pattern, lacking grinds, there's no gems. Okay, it looks like Despair is a tad weaker compared to your Swift runes and Violent runes. So if anything, you could you could farm GB Abyss hard to get better Despair runes because your Despair runes are pretty bad. Let's take a look at Will. Yeah, look, good runes. There's some good runes right there. Uh, that's a questionable gem in my eyes because it's very inefficient knowing that there's a resistance and a flat HP. I hope this was maybe damage. And if so, I would probably gem this out for HP percent and make this a more efficient room and try to get the accuracy that you're lacking from somewhere else. Okay, lacking grinds, same pattern, same pattern. It's just the same thing over all of his rune, all of his runes. So you should focus on R5, you should focus on raid, you should perfect your current runes and then see where it takes you. They're not made to their full potential. It's actually pretty crazy that you got into C1 even, and you guys will see it because his, his rune quality is, I mean, his box is huge. Now, we're not gonna care about uh, Arena because he didn't ask for it. He's not really that interested. But if you are, since the update, you could get LD scrolls now. Um, the defense is more of a stylish defense, which is fine. I will pull in Nora here, because I know you, you had Nora. You don't have Vanessa, so yeah, you could go with Dochroma, but just make it a more stylish defense. This is pretty stylish itself because there's a Belio, there's a healer, right? I don't know the builds, but okay, that's a pretty squishy. Also pretty squishy. I don't like Camilla's on crit damage uh, on arena defense. It should be more on a HP, HP build. Speed, HP, HP, or HP, 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 yeah. Um, so that's more tankier, but you could still try and get that 70% crit rate if you wanted to do some some damage. And it should be on Violent Nemesis. Yeah, the Violent Destroy, more of a siege offense type of Camilla build in my eyes. Windy, okay. All of, a lot of these are slow. Uh, I think Camilla should be around 120 to be effective, or at least, you know, more stylish. And your offenses that you're running, uh, you're running a Tion offense, and that's probably the only one I will run effectively, plus this Jameer one with Cassandra and Sonya, and then I'll put a Megan, because I know you have, I mean, everybody should have a Megan, or will be able to build a Megan, and Megan is almost the same as Bastet, to be fair. But we want to look at this right here. So he's currently in F3 with a 50% win rate. And then his past record was a was C1 with a 55% win rate. And if you look at it, uh, he didn't play too much, 150 games. And 55% win rate means that he could have climbed even, even higher if he continued playing. But if you look at his box, it's pretty insane. Those are a lot of units. Now, I'm gonna guess that this is with the special league because I see a lot of four-star units that you probably used. I mean, they're all ruined. Are these all ruined? No, okay, there's certain things that's missing. Okay, so it looks like most of them was from Special League. And I'll start re your box first. If you look at these builds, they are pretty lacking. Like this Oliver, not on the max accuracy, even not on 
max resistance, not even crazy tanky, right? Same with Shizuka, not on max resistance. I'm gonna blame most of this is because of your runes being spread out so much. Now, first thing is to clean up this box is take out everything that's not scaled up, other than like Bulwark or certain units that don't need full skill ups. So I'm gonna start doing that now. So I saw Minato, Samath, Sagar's gonna go away. Okay, Tessarion is that one Oblivion unit that you might want. You really want this to have max harmful rate effect. I'm gonna leave that for now because you're only an Oblivion unit. Uh, Esther is fine, it's an attack booster. We'll take out all the all the four star stuff. Because you, you really you rarely will use that anyways. Over the Nat Fives. Okay, we'll take out Zabala. I don't know why Belligers in there. We'll take out Sharion, we'll take out Jameer. Okay, Cassandra could stay. Okay, so if we take out everything, so we know that Minato, Samath, right? Zabala. And then like the four stars that I think that we're not gonna use, most likely. Jameer is not scaled up either. Suiki could stay for now. Oh, you do need Lulu. Mie. Bailerger. That's a really weird unit to have right there. Kaki. With that, the box does look better, 29 units. And really with your current room quality, I think it needs to go down by another 10. So let's see now what we could play. Now you don't have Chung Pao. Oh, we have to take out Sagar. Sagar is a very good unit. If you want to play a control comp, I would build a Sagar. I don't even want to put in Triana here right now. Oh, why is Ratesh here? Taking out a couple more that I have missed. Oh, he had two Trianas. Wow. Helena is probably a Leo counter, right? Oh, it's not even being used. But if I if you use it, it'll be a Leo counter. Or Verd will be a triple revenge. Verd. Man, this is a hard box. It's more of a second turn box. When you have this to Moe, other than like controlling with Oliver, but that's the only thing. I would play for, for a second turn team, but even for second turn, you don't have that of a great box since you're missing like Fire Monkey. And Fire Monkey is pretty core. Well, Camila's good. Abilio is good. This is good. I will skill this up. I will I'll, oh, I'll probably go like, oh, where's your Rakuni? You want to play with the Rakuni? So I'll build Rakuni at that too. And then I'll focus more on the second turn box. I will take out Sonya. You'll use Akroma. Second turn for Akroma is pretty nice. Okay, you don't need Tomoe. Oh, even Oliver is questionable here. You could give your best despair runes to this guy. Maybe you could strive for first turn and like mix it with second turn. What does this look like? 20 units. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, but I think this is the box that I would play with. Your first turn could be multiple things. If Rakuni is here, Rakuni could be first pick. Even more could be first pick. More doesn't have to really go first turn, but when they pick it, when people pick it, they're kind of thinking that you're going first turn, you could always switch it up. Even with Oliver, if you want to use Oliver, although skill two is not skilled up, you have to skill this up because this cool time turn minus one is extremely important. I think I would try and, you know, focus second turn with Riley, probably Wind Monkey, Rakuni, um, adding in Riley, Abelio, Camila. If you need strippers, you'll use Praha or more. I think that's the way I would play this game. If you could, Or the Robo, if you go a, a tanky, despair build or even just a fast despair build maybe if the opponent is going tanky your more plus a robo will maybe could even add speed you could even add a win robo here if you if you want to to even signal that you're going first and you will be like infinitely controlling the team it really depends but i think right now with what you have this is the box that i'll play with uh everything here is mostly skilled up other than some core units there that are there for their their passives like the Sarion. But if you focus your runes to 20 units, I think you will do a lot better than you have done before. I'm very surprised that you got C1 with a huge box like this. I don't know how you've gotten it, but big respect to you. Uh, and you had a decent win rate at that as well. I hope you could get uh, C1 again this, this season, which should be pretty easy because the, the hurdle was lowered. Uh, then maybe you can even strive for C2. And then finally, let's go into Siege. Now, a big problem here again is that you have too many defenses. So I will get rid of five at the very least. What I like to do is usually work with four. 
but if you see some of that are working like i'll get rid of the first one second one or you could keep some of them if they're complying with the guild but by removing the other ones you should be able to give better rune quality to the ones that are staying like this one like i said uh miang cichlid Escher could work if you have a tower of those or you could use miang cichlid driller because driller is extremely popular this is the problem see how there's so many things that are swift and they should be on violent like you could argue Sigla could be on Swift, and you could argue Escher could be on Swift, but at least one of these should be on Violent at the very least, and Ming Hang should be on Violent. And because you have so many defenses, you're probably spreading out runes where you're not able to give them these builds. First, comply with the guild. Let's see if your members are using similar similar units. Yeah, I mean they're all over the place, so it's really hard to tell you to you know keep this or that. But I would go with the go with the meta defenses like i said meaning cichlid if you if you can you can make two so you could go meaning cichlid isabel for one network tower and then you could go meaning cichlid um driller for the other one because i think escher is a little weak now because there is a pretty good counter i have showcased it a couple times in my siege videos uh for the meaning cichlid Escher one i think the jotan jotan roid rakuni destroys it 90% of the time and then for a nav 5 because you're limited with your current nav 5s um there isn't too much you could do i think this one is good i think this one is good but you just need to give it better runes yeah see like ophelia is not on violent and another one that you could probably do i think this one is uh, another good one i want to go like sierra sierra orion perna sierra orion Rakan, something like that but i don't think i don't remember you having orion so instead you go nana Nora plus a damage dealer, which is usually like Dominic, but I don't think you have Dominic. Maybe you could use Wind Monkey instead. What's doing well here in the, as an F5 tower? Yeah, I guess this one is okay then. It has a 5 9. This one interestingly got in some wins as well, but I don't really like Camilla in defenses, even their Ritesh. Although we're using it, I don't think it's gonna do so well. Just try to copy meta defenses. Don't go for a lot of defenses, especially in G1, uh, if you know that you don't have the rune quality to support 10 defenses because we've seen it together you don't have the room quality to support 10 defenses units that should be on violent are on swift as soon as you see that you're building units on swift when they're not supposed to be you should stop okay but that is it for this account review guys hope you guys enjoyed it i think the the path for this account is pretty clear work on r5 decrease your rta box which i did for you 20 units decrease even more if you can and then decrease your defenses that you currently have copy the meta defenses and focus your runes on the small box and the few defenses that you have. And you will see better success.